Ladies and gentlemen, Casey Rogers is with us from Martinsburg High School. And uh, Casey, uh, a tw it was probably 25 years ago, uh, the, the tournament of bands that Martinsburg High hosted and some of the other high schools locally hosted as well. And for, a, I don't know, maybe four or five years, I emceed those on okay. some Saturdays, and they were a blast. Uh, the families, first and foremost, there are no families that work harder for the, for a school or for their kids than band families because they are the they are the roadies, they are the fundraisers, they are the they are the traveling circus uh, that is uh, the, the band because they're just so much involved in putting on a halftime show, a performance, and whatever from the band director on down to the parent who helps in the concession stands. It's just a full-service commitment. And the spirit uh, and the, the, uh, the talent and the, uh, the, the camaraderie of, of the kids in the band is just phenomenal to watch. If you haven't been to a tournament of bands, I strongly recommend it. Casey Rogers is here. Casey, good morning. How are you doing there? Good morning. How are you? We're great. great. Thanks We're for great. having me. Give us the Casey Rogers story because you're a local girl and you kind of stayed local too. Yeah, so I went to Martinsburg High School, uh, graduated in 2009. I was part of the band um, for my freshman year. I'll be honest, my mom, she said, you're going to do band for one year. I did not <laughs> want to do it. Super in my shell. Um, but that brought me out of my shell. And I would say by my junior year, I was like, man, I want to come back one day. I want to be the band director here. So No kidding. Yeah, as as so, a freshman, you said that? It was, I was like my junior year. Junior year? Okay. Freshman year, sophomore year, I pretty much got hooked. Um, but then I went to Shepherd, uh, studied music education, played trumpet, studied percussion secondary, was in the RAM band there, um, was able to be drum major my senior year. Um, and then I taught the Martinsburg drum line, I think it was back in 2014, mm -hmm. and then also taught at Brunswick High School with their percussion. Yeah, the railroaders. Yeah, yeah. yep. So then uh, actually went to South Middle to teach, um, I think that was back in 2014. Um, taught there for seven years, and then the last three years at South Middle, um, that was where I started my first group of sixth graders, which are now my seniors this year at Martinsburg High School. So I've had those those kids since day one. They've literally had me every day, you know, for the last seven years. So that's what our marching show is about this year, actually. Uh, it's called Shine. Mm -hmm. It's an opportunity um, for them to kind of play like some music that we've played back when they were in sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade. Um, so it's super special. So seeing these kids, you know, really develop you know, just like I did, you know, in high school, but they started in sixth grade with me. So I always tell them, if you don't know something now in music, it's 100% my fault. Because you're, uh, you're responsible. Yeah, I, I'm responsible <laughs> yeah. for you. So, uh, yeah, that's that's my story. Um, played sports at Martinsburg High School, and then, you know, band, band was my calling. So I'm glad I'm able to come back and be at Martinsburg, and this is my fourth year as band director. That's great. What sports did you play then? Uh, basketball and volleyball. Basketball and volleyball. Which yes. one did you like better? Basketball. Basketball? Yes. Yeah, what position were you? Uh, shooting guard. Oh, cool. Yep. What, did you hit it? Yes. Three, threes were the name of the game for me. <laughs> Do you still break out the ball every now and then yeah. and take a few of those students' ears to school? Yeah, they, they like to talk trash sometimes. Yeah. So You tell them who's boss? <laughs> yeah, I try. Yeah. Knock a few down? Yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's nice. And then for uh, volleyball? Um, I was just... I mean, I just played for three years, um, stopped my senior year because band was my thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's cool. You know, I kind of wish I would have gone on my senior year. But for me, I always tell my band students, um, you know, I think the large number that we have, we're up to 132 students this year. Oh, when wow. I took the job, we were at 38. Um, so we've definitely come a long way in four years. But um, I want the kids to be involved in everything. I think we have a student um, – representative and at least every club activity and sport at Martinsburg that's in the band. Um, so for me, you know, student participation and mm -hmm. being able to balance all of those things is, is the most. Tell me about your tournament of bands event. Yeah. So on Saturday, September 28th, uh, we're two weeks away. That is the 45th annual Martinsburg high school band spectacular. Um, this year we have 14 bands in attendance, um, with Shepherd university Ram band performing an exhibition. Um, this is actually the largest band spectacular that we've had, I think since, uh, 2013. Um, so it's, it's great, you know, and with COVID years and stuff like that, we haven't had a lot of bands and we were down like the six, seven, you know, groups in attendance, which for us, this is our biggest fundraiser of the year. Um, if we have a successful day with concessions and bringing all these schools in, mm -hmm. um, it's, it's easily like a 10, 13 grand day, which is awesome for us. That's a great fundraiser. And, yes. and, and the bands get judged. Yes. And tell me what that's about and what, what it means uh, for these bands in, re in regards to how, how they uh, finish. So this is one of the earlier competitions in the Tournament of Bands, the TOB series. Um, for us, Martinsburg, we technically perform an exhibition since it's our home field. Um, but we are going to go up into uh, Group 4 
this year. So we'll compete against Jefferson High School, which we're looking forward to that because I know Mr. Lynch, he's a mentor of mine, and, and I keep telling him year after year with his dad being former band director at Martinsburg, you know, I always say, I'm coming for you. The Bulldog Band is coming for you in size and size and strength. So um, we're looking forward to that. But um, all the other groups will have a festival group, which um, I believe is Hampshire High School this year. So they perform. They don't really compete. Um, the adjudicators are there to give them comments and feedback. Um, and then we'll have um, Group 2A, which is smaller bands. Group 3A, we'll have some different bands within those groups. And then Group 4A and then Shepherd University will compete um, or just perform for us in exhibition. But the competition basically looks like there's a chief judge, and then they'll judge on musical excellence, um, visual, which is, you know, your drill sets and stuff like that. Um, and then they'll give everybody feedback, and it's just a competition within those categories. One year at the tournament of bands, I think uh, the WVU, probably yeah. West Virginia marching band performed. And just when you get you get bands of that caliber and Shepard, it, yes. it's just really impressive. It's great for the kids to see, it is. you know, especially Shepard University being 20 minutes down the road. You know, the kids, some of them don't know that they have a marching band. So right. to bring that there, they're, they're excited. And, you know, I have a couple, I think five or six former students that I've taught that are now uh, performing with the Ram Band. So it's really cool to see that. And, and what, what instruments do you play? I play trumpet and percussion, but I can play all of them. You can play everything. Except for, I, I will admit, because I know if they're students right now, they'll call me, if they're watching, they'll call me out. Flute was not my strong suit. <laughs> so even back in sixth grade, um, the kids would always say, play the flute. And I would always say, oh, it's in the shop. <laughs> you know? And it's still been in the shop since they were in sixth grade. <laughs> yeah, well, that'll happen sometimes. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's, it's like one of those things. Isn't that like the first instrument you get as a kid in grade school when they yeah. start teaching things? To, and that's the one you never mastered? I just, I don't know. I mean, I passed all my stuff in college, but it... I don't know. It won't click for me. Uh huh. So. It's okay. Yeah. Of the 14 bands, uh, where are they from, Casey? Um, we have a new school, actually. Um, I think it used to be Mountain Ridge High School, yeah. which has turned into Stonewall Jackson mm -hmm. um, down in Quicksburg, Virginia. They're going to be in attendance. We'll have Musselman Jefferson, Washington, Southern Garrett, Northern Garrett, Liberty High School out of Eldersburg, Maryland, um, Hampshire High School, Spring Mills. So I think that's all of them. So, uh, Throughout, but local, mostly local. Yes. Folks. Yeah. So. You mentioned the uh, sixth grade and then extend, stay with you through, uh, uh, through high school. Uh, how many of the sixth grade students actually stay with the band? Um, there is 14. We have 14 seniors yeah. right now, so I would say 14 out of about 17. 17, okay. Yeah, some of them, yeah, some of them moved you know, to different schools and stuff like that. But um, for the most part, all of them have stuck with me. And there was a few that, you know, going into high school, they didn't know I was going to be the band director. Yeah. And I didn't know I was going to be the band director until about three days before camp started. Um, and I was able to reach out to those students and say, hey, you know, I want you back in this program and I want you back with me to do band. And that's, it's pretty cool because that's actually where our first number, I Want You Back by Jackson 5, comes into play on our marching mm -hmm. show this year. Yeah. What's the favorite part for you, the practice or the actual performance? Uh, I think both. Um, but last, you know, this past Friday night, the kids get better every game um, and every rehearsal. And that's been our motto, you know, get better every day. But to see, um, you know, for me, when I was in high school, people would get up and go to the concession stand during halftime. But the amount of people now that are staying in the stands to watch the band is amazing. I mean, I know this show is special for me, yeah. but and the kids always make fun of me because I cry. And, I, yeah. you know, I've been emotional this year. But, you know, Friday night, that was the best performance they've put on. So I was standing there thinking at the top of the press box, all the work they've put in all week yeah. long and the rehearsals and, you know, we practice in the middle of the day. So 12 o'clock out on the football field, it's nice and hot. You know, they've got other things going on. Um, but just to see it all come together on a Friday night is special. So during uh, during a ball game uh, for the concession stands and the restroom breaks, they go while the team's playing so they can watch you on the field uh, at halftime. Yes. Hear that, Rob? Well, you know, Casey mentioned that at halftime people used to go and get uh, concessions and whatever. And if I remember, the band parents actually worked concession yes. stands to make money for the band because one band uniform can cost over $1,000, right? Yes. Right now, one band uniform is about um, five five fifty. Mm -hmm. um, and each year we've had to order about 20 jackets or 20 um, yeah. pants to go with that because we just we keep growing. Right now we're at the point where um, we ordered 100 uniforms my first year and we ordered 20 last year, 20 the year before. And this year we're going to have to order probably about 25, 30 
because um, we, we had to call it quits on, you know, tell some students they're going to have to come back next year because we just didn't have uniforms for them, which when is you, a great problem to have. When but you have 132 kids, that It's also happen. money, yeah. you know. So uh, how many, uh, how many do, 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 first, do the kids buy their own instruments or does the school own some of the instruments? Uh, we do loan some of the instruments. Um, so, for example, like a mellophone. Um, which is like a deeper version of a trumpet. That's a not something bit. you call your friend on, Bill, the yeah. telephone. That's, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's an instrument. Not quite. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we actually just got, the kids were, the kids are awesome. Yeah. And I always joke that I make sure that they have the best of the best. So um, we had two students playing silver mellophones um, and three students playing brass. Well, they wanted all silver. So the other day we went and bought all silver mellophones for them. So, um, yeah, stuff like that. Those instruments, sousaphones, um, the school provides those. Um, the drumline equipment, the front ensemble pit equipment, we provide that. But your flutes, clarinets, you know, trumpets, saxophones, mainly the kids purchase those. And how many years do you get out of an instrument or a set of drums before you have to either refurbish them or, or replace them? Um, drumline in specific, I know the first set that we had, um, we got my junior year of high school, and it wasn't until um, 2021 that they had gotten a new set. Um, so we did fundraising for that my first year, and it was about $33,000 to buy all the drums. Um, so hopefully, you know, we're on year, what, three, four of those. Um, so, we, I mean, we take very good care of our stuff. The kids take good care of it. They have pride in it. Um, so hopefully it'll last for the next 20 years. Yeah. The 132-member van uh, member is, a, is an impressive number. Uh, what's the largest number you could have on the, in a van? Uh, you can have as, as many as you want. Um, I, I mean, actually, for practicality purpose, too, uh, so you can perform with, with precision. I mean, really, really as many as you want. Okay. Um, I know the largest band in Martinsburg, we haven't been, you know, this size since, I think, um, you know, the John Lynch senior era, which was, you know, back in the, um, someone said the other day, looking at YouTube videos, they haven't seen the band this large since, like, the late 90s. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, that would... Uh... That would be around the time I think I was emceeing those. They did have some large mm -hmm. bands at the time, too, and, and they were good. Uh, yeah. Mr. Lynch was very good at what he did, that's for sure. Yes. So with the uh, uh, the performance that's coming up, what time in the morning are you starting? It starts at 5 p.m. Oh, 5 in the evening. Yeah, 5 okay. p.m. Uh, the last group, Shepherd, goes on at 8.45, and our awards okay. are at 9, and then gates open that day at 3 o'clock. Okay. Do you have any other performances that you're going to this school year or that you'll also be doing? Yes. Um, see, October 5th, we'll be going to Morgantown High School. We were actually invited to their band spectacular, which is um, – Kind of like ours, but it's more of like a showcase. It's not really a competition, but a lot of the larger bands in the state will be there. Um, so we're going to take a day trip, you know, show the kids around WVU, take them up, get some lunch and dinner, um, try to make a little fun trip for them. Um, and then we are going to Musselman High School, um, I think October 12th, the week after, for their tournament of bands. And then um, the week after, we'll be in the Apple Harvest Parade. Um, and then we'll also be going and doing uh, the Region 5 Chapter Championship, which kind of wraps up the whole TOB season mm -hmm. on October 19th, that same day. We'll be in the Veterans Day Parade in Martinsburg on um, November 9th. We'll do the Christmas Parade, Martinsburg Christmas Parade. And then um, this year, actually, it's very cool. We put in for it last year and got accepted. Um, it's the first time forever for Martinsburg Band, but we got accepted into the National Cherry Blossom Parade in D.C. on Ooh. April 12th. Um, so we'll go down that day and perform. And then um, we're actually taking the kids to the Strawberry Festival in Buckhannon, West Virginia, uh, May 16th, 17th, and 18th to perform down there and then put our uh, percussion students in a drumline competition. You did all that without notes. That, that's good. I keep <laughs> keep writing the schedule and, you know, parents ask me and I'm, I'm super organized. So it's just all up there. <laughs> Obviously incredibly intelligent with great recollection, too. I try. <laughs> yeah. So Did Cherry Blossom Parade, yes. that's, uh, that's quite an accomplishment. It that's is. impressive. Uh, we kind of kicked it off last year. We um, put in for Disney, and we went to perform in uh, Disney World, which was awesome during oh, spring did. break. You got there, yes, yeah. that was awesome. We hadn't been there um, since I was a freshman in 2005 at Martinsburg. So the band hadn't been back there. But um, the Martinsburg band used to make a tradition to go every four years. So we had a great trip. Um, the students were excellent. The parent volunteers were great. So we're going to try to make a tradition again to go back every four years. The pinnacle of performance would, uh, of, the, of the parades, would Macy's be near the top? Yes. Okay. Have you ever applied for Macy's? We, I started the application process uh, last year, and then 
um, once I started looking at dates and stuff, because I was really trying to get, you know, my senior class this year into yeah. it, you have to put out like two or three years in advance. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, at those points, you don't know what kind of ensembles you have and size like that. But um, I think I'm going to, I have my application. It's, I've put it on pause, but I'm going to, I think I'm going to go forward for it because if the program continues to grow like mm -hmm. it is, I mean, it's, it's going to be great in coming years. When you are deciding what program you're going to do for the, the year, I've seen a lot of – I'm a football coach at the high school where, nearby where I live in, in Frederick, and uh, the band is either doing a like classical music kind of piece or a pop music kind of piece. How do you decide which one you're going to do that particular year as you're setting up your schedule? Um, I always tell myself and my staff um, – which this year was kind of special, you know, with the senior class and stuff like that. We wanted to honor them, and the music just kind of flowed. But especially at Martinsburg, you want to draw in the football crowd. Um, I'm not necessarily concerned about competitions, and the kids really aren't either. You know, they just want to go out there and put on a good show and have fun and, you know, get a good crowd reaction. And, I, and this year, we definitely are doing that. Like I said, we're playing I Want You Back by Jackson 5, which is a big hit. You know, people know that. Um, we're playing Golden Hour, which is, you know, we took a word from there to make the show which is kind of like a newer piece, but um, that's where we get the shine factor from. Um, we're playing High Hopes, which is a pop piece, mm -hmm. um, which is a piece that the kids did um, when they were in seventh grade with the Martinsburg High School Band as their step-up night. Um, so that's the first group they played with the high school band, so that's where we got that from. So, and then... Um, Later in our show, we have A Million Dreams from The Greatest Showman, which was just a little clip from their uh, first show with me at Martinsburg from their freshman year. So this year was special, like I said, tying it all in, but really just making, you know, giving the crowd music that they're familiar with. Mm -hmm. um, and that seems to come a long way. Sometimes in the competition world, it doesn't go very well with the judges, but the kids don't care about that. I don't care about that, you know, because right now, you know, we're one of the biggest bands in our category. So really anywhere we go, unless, you know, Jefferson would compete with us or, you know, Washington being a bigger band, um, you know, we pretty much get first place. You know, and the kids, like I said, they don't care about the trophy. They just they just want to have a good show. It's funny you just said that just real quick, Bill, because my wife who goes to our, our games will say to me, why is the, the band so boring because they do classical music right. pieces but they win awards <laughs> right but then the, the visiting team if they bring a band they're doing a pop piece it's like everybody loved the other band they right. they played all these songs we all know and, uh, and normally with like you know those this classical songs they're they're making up for that with like the visual factor of it yeah um and sometimes with being so large it's hard to do you know a lot of visual things and for us this year it's cool because we have uh 21 students in our color guard which mm -hmm. is amazing and, and we haven't had that since you know the john lynch senior era which is which is awesome and i know mrs rosemary lynch she used to um, be a killer guard instructor um, so we're really trying to you know get the whole band back to the lynch era from the color guard back to the size of the band um, and just be a big staple in the community and, and the kids are doing an excellent job because they're they're getting there this year which is awesome sounds like you're doing an excellent job yeah. what's most which aspects most challenging to teach casey the uh, the music part or the precision marching um i would say the marching uh, music, the kids are great musicians. Um, it's, they're, they're awesome. You know, they're getting a good feeder program from South Middle with Heather now and then with North Middle as well. Um, all of our staff is really good to help um, musically. We have a lot of, you know, staff members that are designed and specific for each section um, of our band. But sometimes just marching because kids are coming from different backgrounds, you know. Um, sometimes, you know, staying in step of left, right, left, right doesn't really click until their sophomore year. Um, but other kids are just natural to it, which is which is great. Um, but we try to hit basics a couple times a week um, to take it back from that. And then we reevaluate things after our Friday performances, like today being Monday. Um, we're going to start in our pregame block and hit basics. Um, so as we're marching out for the national anthem, I know the straight lines are super important to me and my staff. The kids, I know they get annoyed with us sometimes, and they're like, you know, that's all I talk about is straight lines. But it's impactful. So you get a group that size to be in straight lines. It's it's a cool thing to see. I love you how you did the board. eye roll there. She did the, she, she did the <laughs> eye roll like the kids give <laughs> the you. The kids, yeah, they yeah. give it to me all the time. Yeah. 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 Do you change the program on a weekly basis? 
No, we don't. We do change our stand tunes that we yeah. play within the stands. Um, for example, one of our assistant band directors, Hannah Abereg, um, gave us a lot of uh, stand tunes that we're doing that she did at WVU, so the Pride of West Virginia plays. Um, Casey, hang out a second. We'll be back with the final 50 seconds right after we take our final commercial break of the program here. Casey Rogers Adams from Martinsburg High School. Casey, you have 20 seconds to get your final message across. All right, the last thing I'd like to say is we have our third annual Running with the Dogs uh, 5K race. That is the morning of the Band Spectacular. starts at 9 o'clock. Our registration is still open. Uh, people can go to mhsbulldogband.com and find the registration link on there. So we'd love to have everybody come out. Well done. And she did it in 20 seconds, too. She did too, that. Bill. Yeah. Bill, thank you. I'll see you on Wednesday. Looking forward to it, Rob. Enjoyed the day. Mr. Gilstrap, get well soon. Take care of that back. Casey Rogers Adams from Martinsburg High School. Great job. Thank you. Dave Ramsey shows next. This is Talk Radio, WNR Martinsburg and TV 10. And we'll talk again at 22 short hours. Mm -hmm.